Number 10, Charlotte Broad. In 2019, a British mother of two died from malnutrition after living most of her life on a diet that consisted exclusively of snack foods. 32-year-old Charlotte Broad wouldn't eat anything aside from cheese and onion crisps, poppadoms, and prawn crackers. Even as a child, she didn't consume any vegetables with her meals, living solely on soda, chicken nuggets, and chips. In early January of 2019, Broad's partner convinced her to get help, and she was taken to the Royal Hampshire County Hospital in Winchester. By that point, she would start vomiting so hard that her throat turned black whenever she ate or drank anything. While in the hospital, she repeatedly refused food, even in an intravenous form. When asked if she knew what was going to happen without adequate nutrition, she told her doctors that she was probably going to die. Less than a week before her death, Broad no longer allowed doctors to examine her and take blood. Then, on January the 18th, she passed away from multiple organ failure as a result of prolonged malnutrition. With respect to Broad's mental health, a coroner determined that she wasn't suicidal but that she developed ambivalence towards life. Number 9. Jessica Lindsay In 2017, a teenager from Perth, Australia died in the aftermath of a strict diet that drastically lowered her water intake. 18-year-old Jessica Lindsay was a rising Muay Thai kickboxer who was training for an upcoming amateur bout. She was trying to make the 140-pound limit and resorted to a practice done by many combat athletes called water weight cutting. It requires a period of dehydration and many health experts advised against it due to the strain it puts on the body. Lindsay's training involved running in a sweatsuit, sitting in a sauna and sparring, all of which she reportedly performed while drinking little to no water. On November the 10th, she collapsed while running outside her gym, accompanied by her boyfriend and her sister. They raised the alarm and Lindsay was rushed to the emergency room. Upon her arrival, doctors found she had a heart rate of 180. She was placed in a medically induced coma and died four days later. The prolonged absence of water had caused her organs to shut down one by one. Number 8. Vidotus Gerbertavisius In March of 2018, a young man died in an East London hospital after taking a banned diet pill. 21-year-old Vidotus Gerbertavisius had purchased dinotrophenol or DNP on the dark web. The compound is classified as an explosive under UN regulations and in World War I, it was used in the manufacturing of ammunition. Scientists subsequently learned that it boosted metabolism and burned fat if ingested. In the 1930s, it was marketed as a diet pill in the US. It was banned in recent years following several fatalities. DNP is close to cyanide in terms of toxicity and it can cause nausea, abdominal pain, high fever, seizures and multiple organ damage. There's no antidote or treatment for it. After taking the pill, Gerber Tavisius called his father, telling him that he couldn't be helped and that he'd be dead within the hour. He was taken to a hospital with a temperature so high that nurses used up all of the ice packs trying to cool him down. Gerber Tavisius complained of pain all over his body before he passed away from cardiac arrest within four hours of arriving at the hospital. Number 7. Lindsay Bone on April the 5th of 2019, Lindsay Bone's roommates found her unresponsive in her bed and doctors would later confirm that she'd passed away the night before. 20-year-old Bone was on antidepressants, an anxiety medication that helped her cope with the loss of her father a year prior. According to her fiancé, she was also on a crash diet, determined to lose weight for an upcoming holiday. She took dietary pills made from crushed, distilled and fermented apples. Bone's mother claimed that for years, she would take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with her meals. She also added that her daughter had eaten very little on the day of her death. The rules Bones had given herself in her food diary emphasized taking the vinegar. It was initially suspected that she'd had a bad reaction to her anti-anxiety medication, but a coroner revealed that she hadn't abused the pills. While doctors couldn't find a definitive cause of Bones' death, the level of acid in her blood was a lot higher than normal. This was linked to the vinegar, which is acidic and it's possible she'd taken too much of the dietary supplement. Number 6. Tapeworm Diet In 2014, ER nurse 
Marisa Cabral Osorio detailed a case that she encountered at the Florida hospital where she worked. A teenager accompanied by her mother walked in with a bulging stomach and complaining of abdominal pain. Cabral Osorio initially believed that she was pregnant, but an ultrasound ruled it out. Moments later, the nurse found the teenager screaming over a toilet filled with tapeworms. Some of them were reportedly long and trying to climb out. It was later revealed that a mother had given her pills which had tapeworm eggs inside of them. They were meant to aid the teenager in slimming down for an upcoming pageant. The mother apologized to her daughter, who, according to Cabral Osorio, was set to recover since she'd passed the parasites. Tapeworm diets date back at least to Victorian England. After the egg is intentionally ingested, the parasite hatches and attaches itself to the intestine. In theory, one can eat whatever they want as some of the caloric intake goes towards feeding the parasite, which can grow to be 30 feet long and live inside the host for decades. The diet is extremely dangerous as one can't control where the parasite attaches itself, which can result in potentially fatal blockages or brain complications, in addition to nausea, diarrhea, weakness, and abdominal pain. Number 5. Mishti Mukherjee In 2020, a 27-year-old Indian actress died due to complications stemming from her ketogenic diet. Mishti Mukherjee succumbed to kidney failure and her family released a statement in which they blamed the strict diet for her demise. Keto emphasizes the consumption of fat and protein while reducing carbohydrates. It's designed to put the body into ketosis, a state in which it burns fat for fuel. Medical professions have warned that while generally effective for obese people, the diet can be dangerous for thinner people who follow it for extended periods of time. That's due to the buildup of ketones, the acids that are a byproduct of fat burning, which can cause the blood to become more acidic and damage the kidneys, liver, and brain. It can lead to the formation of kidney stones and in more extreme cases like Mukherjee's kidney failure. Doctors generally recommend drinking plenty of water to mitigate the adverse effects as well as not following the diet for more than 45 days in a single stretch. Number 4. Meghna Devgatkar In 2020, an Indian woman died just hours after taking DNP at the gym where she'd recently started work as a trainer. 22-year-old Meghna Devgatkar had taken the banned weight loss pill prior to a workout, but it's unclear if the physical effort had amplified its adverse effects. She started vomiting soon after taking it. Devgatkar's temperature increased dramatically, as did her blood pressure and heartbeat. She was transferred to several hospitals but ultimately passed away from cardiac arrest. The police started interviewing Devgatka's colleagues at the gym and launched an investigation to determine how she'd obtained the pill. Number 3. Jacqueline Henson In November of 2008, British woman Jacqueline Henson died after following a diet that emphasized water consumption. The 40-year-old was reportedly told by her slimming consultant that the more water she drank, the more weight she'd lose. While the diet did involve drinking up to four liters of water per day, the quantity had to be spread out. Henson didn't have time during her workday and would drink the water in the evening over a couple of hours while she watched TV. The diet worked at first, and Henson was encouraged to remain on track by her partner and five children. On November the 14th, she got home from a meeting of her weight loss group. After drinking the water, she threw up and complained of a headache. Her daughter later found her unconscious in the bathroom. Henson subsequently passed away in a hospital from a swelling of the brain after she'd saturated her body with too much water. Today's topic was requested by Chibi, Creepypasta, Super April 34, and Eckhard Krieger. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Breatharinarianism the practice of breatharinarianism, deemed by conventional researchers as a deadly pseudoscience, entails an entirely spiritual existence without the intake of fluids or food. It relies on sunlight and meditation with sustenance purportedly provided by prana, the vital life force in Hinduism. Australian woman Ellen Grev, better known as Jasmuheen, is one of its most prominent proponents. She once claimed that she expanded her DNA from two 
to 16 strands through the practice. Jazz Muheen was offered considerable sums of money for a blood test that would prove her extraordinary claims, but she wouldn't provide it, stating that spiritual energy can't be viewed under a microscope. She tried to prove the benefits of her lifestyle on an episode of 60 Minutes but was urged to stop as her health had begun to deteriorate. She challenged the results of the program and continued her teachings. While she's denied responsibility, at least five deaths have been linked to breatharinarianism and Jazz Muheen's publications. In 1991, Scottish woman Verity Lynn died of hypothermia and dehydration while trying to live according to Jazz Muheen's teachings. Lynn's lifeless body was found in a tent. In 2012, a Swiss woman died of starvation while attempting to survive solely on light. 22-year-old German man Finn Bogomil passed away in 2017 on the Caribbean island of Dominica in similar fashion. Number 1. Luisel and Eliana Ramos On August 2 of 2006, Uruguayan model Luisel Ramos died while taking part in a fashion week show in Montevideo. According to her father, 22-year-old Ramos hadn't eaten anything for several days leading up to her death. She weighed less than 100 pounds on a 5 foot 9 inch frame. For months, she'd followed a diet that involved little else except for lettuce and Diet Coke. Ramos suffered a heart attack shortly after stepping off the runway. Less than a year later, her 18-year-old sister, who was also a professional model, passed away under similar conditions. Eliana Ramos's lifeless body was found at her grandparents' home in Montevideo. The cause of death was determined to have been a heart attack stemming from malnutrition. The double tragedy drew widespread media attention in Latin America, with many criticizing the pressure on underweight models. In the aftermath, fashion shows in Madrid, Milan, and Israel banned size zero models from their catwalks. Thanks for watching. Would you rather give up your favorite fast food item forever or eat nothing but it for six months straight? Let us know in the comments section below.